Hello, welcome and greetings to join me, Learning Python Programming. In today's session, we will discuss about exception handling. It's very, very important for any developer, any programmers, how to handle exception. So let's start with the examples. First, I'm creating an error with very basic statement. If I'm trying to divide any number with the zero and it's raised the error zero division error. So this is basically error number and code we can select like that okay so now let's try to figure out how can i handle with this error okay. the same statement i'm executing here but here it's not error okay so how what i do here basically we have to write a try and accept okay try and accept so what we do generally in try block we perform all the our of the our task okay we write all the entire codes we it seems it's raised the error in the try block so i just put my this line code in the try block okay and i know that it's raised the error okay already we know that it's raised the error so what except do except just catch it and print the output okay print this particular statement okay so whenever something wrong here whenever some error raised here it's catch by this statement and perform it and handle it so what happened it's raised the error and the output is something like knock. but if there is no error then it's not go into the accept block okay then it's not going to accept block only and only in the case when the error raised it's look into the accept it look into the accept okay now one more thing okay i'm creating a function here and trying to generating the same error Okay, number division by error. So what I do here this time, I call this function into the try block. Only and only that case, when you put your code into the try block, it's accept when handle it. Okay, so when I'm trying to run it, what happened? It's raised the error, handle by accept. Okay, handle by accept. Okay, one more possibility. Already I know, okay, the possible error. Okay, I know, okay, it is generated this error. So I can handle by the name also okay when this particular error raised i want to prompt the proper message attempt to divide, divide by zero okay when this message i get i know that what happens so i just define user defined message here when particular this error is okay now what happened here attempt to divide by zero why because when i'm trying to divide by zero it's raised the error like zero division error and something else okay it's some else error is there it's not because of this zero division then it's go to the except okay now let's see the same things with the examples okay here is no error i'm introducing here else part okay else part what happened when nothing got wrong i want to execute this one okay when we are trying to open some file and we see like that if this file is a uh, not exists i want to do this if the file is exists i want to do this so what basically do here if the error is go to the accept part if some everything is fine go to the else part okay so basically if is there no error so nothing went wrong but if let me raise the error so it's going to the something went wrong. Okay, one more time. There is no error. Nothing went wrong. So what happened basically when the error is go to the accept. When there is no uh, there is no error, then go to the else part. Okay, it's basically like if else if error go to the accept. No error go to the else. And one more close finally. Okay, either or any condition either or any condition where there is error where there is a no error but final close always execute okay final close always execute let's run it everything is fine nothing went wrong always will execute let's raise the error something went wrong still always execute this okay so in any condition in any condition final block always execute let me explain one more time Okay, you write your code, your suspected code, maybe your affected codes, you write in the try close. If this block, if this try block, it raise the error, it's handled by accept. And all the possible accept we use here. But if there is no error, if there is no error, this, it's go in the else part and perform the task. 
and in any of the above case final block always execute the final block always execute so this is about to the uh, error raised by system raised by python okay so raised by some logically but what happen if i want to resist something okay in my some application i want to raise error where the error age is less than 80 so this is the option raise exception and your message and we can see here it's a exception okay and here is the message okay it's called a user defined exception we can say it's a raised by the developer raised by us okay the condition what you want to do raise exception and print your user defined message and it's a custom exception okay this is also custom exception this is also custom exception uh, exception sorry uh, it's a student is my class name it says pass just for the exam and i said raise class and the message and it's written particular custom exception message is there. okay no condition nothing because i want to generate the error so that's why i'm not defining any condition i just pass the values in my class I just pass it i'm not creating even class and i just raise the error so basically this raise is the command to accept to raise the error custom errors okay so this is very important keep practice keep learning see you in the next video bye bye